Which is the best virtual tour software? In this video, I'll compare not just one or two, but 15 of the most popular options, both free and paid, as voted by you guys in the virtual tour Facebook groups. The contenders are Pano2VR, Matterport, Cupix, Cooler, My360, Google Tour Creator, Panoskin, GoThrough, 3D Vista, KR Pano, Via Experience, Theasis, Cloud Pano, Marza Pano, and Orbix360. That's a lot and there are actually way more, so apologies to the softwares that didn't make the cut. Some of these include popular softwares of the past, like Color Pano Tour Pro, which is no longer available for sale, and RoundMe, who appear to be no longer active. So this comparison will give you an overview of who the main players are right now and what the main differences are between them. This is a free video for my brand new video course, Virtual Tour Pro, so if you got value from it, then it's not even one one hundredth of what you'll learn in the full course. So follow the link in the description to get your copy of the course today. Now the features and prices of these platforms are going to change and update a lot in the future. So use this video as a guide to what they offer today, then check their individual websites, which I'll link in the description, if you're watching this video in the future and want to see what they've added. Now I can't compare every single feature of every platform because that would make things extremely complicated, but instead I'll focus on the main things that stood out to me from my time using them. I'll also sort them into categories and give them each ratings out of 10. And here are the factors I'm going to judge them by. Firstly, price. How good is the price? And more importantly, how much value does it deliver for that price? I'm also going to include hosting here because with some of them, it might seem like a great deal at first, but then you have to pay a lot more down the line to add new tools as well as keep the existing ones online. Next is features. How many great features does it have that will increase the professionalism of the tour? Ease of use. How intuitive is the software to use without having to go through hours of tutorials to fully understand how it works and what the workflow is like. Also, how fast is the overall process from start to finish? Photo playback. How good do 360 photos look when uploaded to the platform? This includes not only displaying them at full quality, but things like the ability to color correct and fix imperfections, adding photo effects, and what the end viewing experience is like navigating around the 360 photos as well as the transitions between shots. Interface and graphics. What do the navigation buttons look like? How professional do the skins look? And skins are essentially customizable menus. How much can you customize other things like logos, text, hotspots, and so on. Finally, the end result. How professional does the tool look when all of these things are put together into the end user experience? Now I'm going to start by grouping them into four categories. Beginner free, beginner paid, intermediate, and advanced. Here's how I see them fitting into each. Now I'll go through them one by one and give each software an overall score based on the categories I just mentioned. Then at the end of each section, you'll see a completed table of how each software ranks compared to others in its category. Spoiler alert, as the video goes on, the scores will get better and better. So be sure to hang around until the end so you can make a fully informed decision and see what all the options are, as well as seeing which of these platforms is my personal choice and why. I've shot a sample tour at a luxury rental apartment in Spain, and I'm going to upload the exact same tour to all of these platforms to see the differences. Now let's get started. The first free software is Google Tour Creator, and this is made by Google, and it allows you to create a super basic virtual tour. So if we click New Tour, we give it a title, we can give it a description and a cover photo, and hit Create. One interesting thing about this software is you don't actually need your own 360 photos to begin with. You could make a virtual tour of photos that are already uploaded to Google Street View. But it doesn't really help us because we want to create a custom virtual tour using our own images. So we'll hit Upload. And this software is about as simple as it gets, you import your photos, you do a basic edit within 30 seconds and you're done. However, you have to upload your photos one by one, which is quite annoying, and you only have the most basic level of customization. We can add audio, we can add a point of interest, and this isn't even a hotspot, it's just an information card. We can't create hotspots in between photos. All of your photos will show up down the bottom. Then when you publish your tour, it shows up as a carousel. I don't really like how my photos look here. I can tell the quality has been reduced a bit, and when published, it's even worse than this. It adds this weird nader for no reason and this tour just feels so beginner-ish I would not really want to do any kind of virtual tour in this software. If it had a redeeming quality that would probably be free Google Street View upload but it doesn't even have that I 
don't think. I couldn't see any option here to do it. So I'm sorry, Google Tour Creator, your features are just too basic. This isn't really usable. So I can't even give you a five out of 10. A much better free software to use would be Veer Experienced. And Veer are an established VR company who are now specializing in just 360 video content. However, they made this tool a year ago and it's still active and you can create some really decent virtual tours in it. What I like about it is that it's one of the few platforms to support both 360 photos and videos as well as 3D or stereoscopic photos and videos. This is what the editor looks like. It's really minimal and easy to use. You have all of your photos at the top and your editor on the left. It's super easy to add hotspots. Yes, you only have a basic amount of options, but you can add a custom hotspot if you wanted to add a logo. You can add information cards with videos, photos, and links. You can also add text and images throughout your tour. It's easy to use. You just click and drag the elements and you can actually make a halfway decent tour with Veer Experience. Another the great feature of Veer is they have their own app in the Oculus store so you can connect your account up in a headset and download and view your tour in virtual reality. This is especially good for 360 video and 3D content. It really comes to life within the Veer app and it's one of the only ones if not the only one on this entire list that has its own dedicated VR app. So while I probably wouldn't use Veer experience professionally, I would definitely use it for personal use because it's professional enough, it looks good, it looks like you know what you're doing and is potentially going to be one of the better platforms to use if you're making a virtual tour made of 360 videos. So definitely do consider Veer Experience. It's a good software. It's not great, but it more than does the job for a free beginner software. Next is Marzipano. And this is an interesting one because one of the more common questions I've been getting is, can you download a tour and host it offline? And this is the very first software I found that could do it. It's completely free. You have to build your tour online, but one once it's built, you download it, you can view it offline, or you can upload it to your own server. This is what the editor looks like. It's pretty basic, but it does allow the adding of hotspots and most other things we saw in Veer Experience. As far as I can see, you can't customize your tour very much. So we can't add custom hotspots. We can't add logos. You just upload your photos. You set the initial view. You create a basic hotspot to another part of the tour. You can also add other info hotspots. From looking at some of the samples on their site, it looks like you can actually do a bit more with hotspots. However, you need to code them. So you can't just drag and drop like a lot of the other softwares on this list. So that's actually a really cool effect. And so is this but this isn't an option to drag and drop. You have to code that in. And for someone like me who struggles to speak the English language, sometimes coding is a no go. Oh, that's cool. Marzipano is definitely a great option and one of the top contenders for free virtual tour software. The key feature that I think is both a blessing and a curse is the ability to download and host offline. That's a great feature for people who wanna do that, but if you don't, they don't offer the option to host your tours on their site. So basically you're forced to download the tour and host it elsewhere. So if you want a really fast workflow, then this probably isn't going to be the software for you. But if you want to watch back your virtual tour directly from your desktop without needing an internet connection, then Marzipano is going to be your best friend. And I'd suggest using it when you specifically need that. You don't have to use it for every tour, but only when you want offline tours, I would suggest Marzipano. I think Marzipano is a great software and it's really raising the bar for the kinds of tours you can make without having to spend a cent. The next free option you should consider is called Orbix 360. And again, this is a super simple drag and drop virtual tour editor. Here's my tour of the apartment. The dashboard is super simple. We just click editor and straight away we're into it just like the others we click and drag to move around and we can position our hotspots anywhere we want I would say this is a slightly more advanced version of Google Tour Creator with both of them you could turn around a virtual tour in under five minutes I reckon again the customization is only really basic with only basic hotspots and the graphics are also really basic one feature I really like about Orbix is you can add a custom nader and it moves when you move the photo not many of these softwares do that, so that's actually a really cool feature from a software you don't have to pay a cent for. Moving around the photos is a little jerky. Personally, I prefer a smooth navigation experience. And yes, I'm being picky, but I'm allowed to be because we've got 15 softwares and some of the others have super smooth navigation that actually makes the photos feel higher quality because you're having a smoother interactive experience. Here's the final tour. It looks okay, not amazing, but again, this is gonna be good enough for personal use. I wouldn't use this for 
client work though. It just doesn't have enough professional features and also it doesn't have too many unique selling points above the other softwares on this list. Orbix is a decent option for complete beginners who want a super simple interface. However, there is one more free platform I want to show you and it's called Theasis. When I first discovered Theasis, I went to their website and took a look at some of their sample tours and I thought, damn, that looks good. I saw this sample tour of Shipwreck Beach and I had a play with it and I thought, wow, this actually looks quite professional. Are you sure this software is free? The navigation is really nice. The hotspots look good. The overall interface looks like a legit paid software. So then I uploaded my photos and I got the same result. Firstly, they've got hundreds of great icons to choose from to use as hotspots. You can do a whole bunch of cool things with the hotspots. Like in this example, the viewer clicks the map on the table and up comes a map of Barcelona. You can customize the smoothness of the viewer. You can make it hard and fast like that or soft and smooth just the way I like it. It's got panorama backlinking. You can add sound and music. You can add pitch and zoom limits for your photos. You can adjust the leveling of your photos. How good is that? In most softwares, this would be a paid feature, but Theasis offers it completely free. The navigation looks really professional. The photos look crisp and clear, and you have a high degree of customization of your hotspots. So with this map on the table, I change the X, Y, and Z axis. So it looks like it's laid flat on the table. This means you could put hotspots on walls, and they look realistic on the floor, on the ceiling, change the size and scale. And you can really do so much with your hotspot customization, including adding your own image if you want. You can add 2D and 3D text to your tours. You can add a lens flare. You can add custom shapes that you can turn into hotspots and you can save presets. So if you like your hotspots a certain way, like I did in this tour, I saved it as a hotspot. So then I just drag and drop. So every time I add a new hotspot, it shows up exactly the same way. You don't have to change change the size and scale, it'll be exactly the same each time. Another thing I love about Theasis is it has a device emulator. So if we want to see what our tour looks like on desktop, tablet, and mobile, it's as simple as clicking the icons at the top and you can see what it looks like on each device. Not only that, but it has a high level of customization with your export settings to do with autoplay, adding logos, choosing the starting panorama. You can patch the nadir, you can add a menu. And did I mention this is all completely free? Yeah, I think I probably did, but still, this is free. Can you believe it? That's incredible. I don't know how they offer it for free, but seriously, take advantage of it. It may take a little bit more time to build the tour than the other free platforms, but as a result, you get a much more professional looking tour in the end. Theasis is the only one of the free virtual tour softwares that I'd be happy charging clients for. It looks professional, you get a high level of customization and will be a perfectly fine option for small to medium sized businesses. If you wanna share your tour, they have all kinds of options to do so. And the only paid feature they have is the ability to download the entire tour for $10 if you wanna host it on your own server. Otherwise the tour will be hosted on the Theasis website completely free. So there you go. Theasis Theasis beats the other four by quite a big margin and the obvious choice if you have no money to spend and you want to get started with virtual tours. However, we've got some softwares to come that will give Theasis a run for its money. The first paid beginner software is Matterport and Matterport is one of the more widely known virtual tour softwares and it kind of has the reputation of ooh Matterport as in being super fancy and only for elite photographers who buy the expensive Matterport camera setup. The good news is they've now opened it up for use with regular 360 cameras and you can now create an entire virtual tour with certain 360 cameras. Not all are compatible yet, but some are and I'm sure many more will be in the near future. Matterport is actually much more simple to use than you might think. One of the things Matterport is well known for is the dollhouse effect where you essentially 3D scan an entire house and it presents it to your viewer exactly like a dollhouse. You can move it around as if it was a miniature house and it's just a really cool, unique and fun viewpoint to view a location from. It also has this amazing walkthrough effect where the transition between two photos feels really real and you can set automatic camera movements to move throughout several points throughout the location and it basically moves around on autopilot. Where it's currently limiting is in the fact that you can't manually upload photos. You have to use the Matterport app when you're there on location, then the photos process in the cloud and you're emailed a link to edit your tour in a few hours. Which is great and all, but it takes away the ability to shoot manually 
as well as do any kind of editing on your photos because it has to be done then and there in the app. And while the Matterport app is really good, you can't do any photo editing or change any settings on your camera. I've actually reached out to the Matterport team and they've told me that they're working on this and they will allow manual uploads probably within the next year. So while I see this as a big barrier for now, it won't be in the not too distant future. Here's what the Matterport dashboard looks like and due to the issue I just mentioned, I can't manually upload my Spain virtual tour. So I'm gonna have to show you one I shot earlier. This is of a gym around the corner from me. I shot this in around 10 minutes. It was super fast and the result was really good. The client was really happy. The actual tour editor is so easy, a complete beginner could pick it up within an hour or two. You've only got a few options here on the right hand side and you can do some pretty advanced things with them. Where Matterport is lacking is in its customization. All Matterport tours look basically the same because you're using the same hotspots. You'll have the same text in the top left hand corner and usually it's just really obvious if it's a Matterport tour. Now this isn't a bad thing, but it means that this takes away the ability for the tour to have a more personalized feel. If you wanted to use, say, your client's colors, you couldn't do that. You can't add their logo. You can't even change the nader. They blur the nader because they don't allow manual editing and the tripod is going to be there. So that's their solution, but it's not good. I don't like having a blurred nader. I think my tour looks professional for sure, but after using it with a paid client, it made me realize Matterport is really better optimized for real estate virtual tours. Having the dollhouse effect, and the floor plan, these are all things that a real estate listing would have. When you're trying to sell a house, you don't really need custom branding. You only need basic information about the house, basic hotspots, and the amazing 3D effects overpower what any kind of custom branding could do. The biggest issue I have with Matterport is with their pricing and their hosting. Once you start your Matterport subscription, you have to keep it going or your tours are going to be taken offline. And even the most basic paid package allows you five tours and that's it. If you want six, you have to upgrade to the next subscription, which is way more expensive. And this kind of pricing model makes it really hard to build up a library of virtual tours without having to take some down. And ideally with most virtual tour shoots, you want your tour to be there for a while, which again is why I think Matterport is best suited to real estate because you might make a Matterport tour, you put it online to help sell the house, then the house sells and you don't need the tour to be online anymore and you take it offline. That's how most Matterport photographers do it. And while it is workable, if you're shooting exclusively exclusively real estate. If you want to make any other kind of tour, I'd say you should forget it because the ability to keep your tours hosted online forever is a really important thing for businesses, for personal virtual tours, basically any other kind of virtual tour other than a real estate tour. I have to give Matterport a 10 for its amazing 3D features. However, for its overall ability, it's going to be closer to seven. The next paid beginner software is CloudPano, and this is one of the newest softwares to enter the market. And I see these guys as one of the the best up and coming platforms out there. Firstly, their pricing is really good, but when you start an account, it's so user friendly. I love the graphic design of their dashboard. And when you edit your tour, it's really simple and user friendly. I really like the way the editor is laid out. Everything is really big and it's easy to find what you need. The customization elements are basic for now. This is what the hotspots look like. You do have a basic level of customization. You can make them black or white or add this weird Christmas bauble looking thing. This is what my tour looks like. I added a logo up the top, it's got a carousel down the bottom. I'm not the biggest fan of the navigation, it's a little bit too sensitive and you can't customize it. I'm just making very small clicks and drags here and it's moving quite a lot and it's quite jerky. So while the photos do look good and they're relatively sharp, I think this is something they probably will need to improve. So along with adding basic hotspots and info spots, you can add a floor plan. You can add a lead capture form if you wanna collect people's email addresses within the tour. And you can also download your Cloud Pano tours and upload to your own server. They've also got a white label option. So if you don't want the Cloud Pano URL to show up, you can enter your own custom URL. I definitely feel comfortable using using CloudPano professionally. And while it might not be the obvious choice, it's a really nice, simple experience. I love how user-friendly they've made it. And it's one of the few tour makers on this list where you can create a tour from start to finish in under five minutes. I really like CloudPano a lot and I can't wait to see what these guys do with it because it's evolving really quickly and I know it's going to become an intermediate software pretty quickly with way more features. So I would definitely keep a close eye on CloudPano in the future. The final beginner virtual tour software 
software is Cooler. And I remember discovering Cooler two or three years ago. And what really stood out to me with these guys was their 360 photo player. I remember it was just so smooth and nice to drag the 360 photo around. And every time I go back and browse some of their user photos, I'm reminded of that. I really love the subtle, slow movement. I think it makes the 360 experience much more enjoyable and less intimidating. And in that time since starting, they've moved their branding towards virtual tours and they now offer a paid virtual tour option. Firstly, what's great about it is the price. It's one of the cheapest virtual tour platforms out there and I think you'll be amazed at what it offers for that price. Firstly, you can make unlimited tours and host it on their website, but also their editor is one of the best and most user-friendly editors out there. As you can see, their smooth photo rotation also applies to the virtual tours and it just makes them look so good. It's funny how the exact same photo can look good with some softwares and really bad with others. Adding hotspots is super simple. Just click that and bam, you've got yourself a hotspot. You can customize it by putting your own photo there or you can use one of their built-in icons. One of my favorite effects within Cooler is the lens flare effect. You just click this button here and now it adds a hotspot and we're going to position it where the sun is and it creates an automatic lens flare that will move around as the viewer navigates around the photo. This really makes the 360 viewing experience even more realistic and how cool does that look? I love the lens flare effect. It's not the only software that can do this but it's one of the best that I've seen. You can add custom hotspots like this and this See what I did there? I found a photo of a map and I positioned the orientation so it looks like it's sitting on the table. Then when you hover over it, it comes to life. You click it and you see the map in full screen. You have a good amount of customization here of your photos. You can add filters to them. And this is one of the only softwares so far that allows this where you can actually change the colors and whatnot once the photos are in the software. And you're not gonna do all of your color correction in your virtual tour software, but it's good to have the option of turning up the saturation 10% or so. You can also customize the zoom settings and pitch Limit. Another cool feature is the horizon correction. You just drag the slider left and right and there you go. You got a straight horizon. I'm really happy with the tour I made in Cooler. It looks super nice and I would definitely use this software with a paid client. It gives you enough customization along the way to get a really specific looking tour. There you can see I've added a floor plan. I can customize the transition type. They've even got walkthrough mode which means you set a hotspot once in one photo then when you go to that photo that it's linking to and turn around the hotspot will be there in the opposite place. I like Cooler so much that I even use my Cooler virtual tour on my virtual tour pro website. And it looks really cool embedded on a website like this with my logo up the top left. I've got the carousel down the bottom, access to the floor plan, and there I've got hotspots within the floor plan. For me though, I've got to come back to it. I love this viewer. It's such a nice experience looking around these photos. And I would say it's probably one of the best platforms out there for actually moving around the 360 photos. And yeah, I'd be really happy using this for paid jobs. It looks great. I know clients would be happy with Cooler. So for the price you pay, Cooler way over delivers, especially if you're shooting virtual tours professionally professionally, maybe you're just starting your virtual tour business and you want to start contacting small to medium sized businesses for jobs, Cooler will give you the best overall result of all of the platforms we've covered so far. Congratulations Cooler, you are officially the best virtual tour software for beginners. Okay, moving on to the intermediate softwares. There are four of them and the first one on the list is Cupix. For those of you who follow my YouTube channel, you'll know I've made a few videos about Cupix and I really like Cupix a lot. It's a great software and it's been one of the leaders over the past few years. However, that does not mean Cubix is the best. It's simply the one I've been using the most, but by the end of this video, I can tell you that's probably going to change. So Cubix is a really good platform. You can use a 360 camera with it and it really is feature packed. There's so much you can do with it and it seems to be targeted towards the construction industry, towards architects. There are so many great features for documenting and visualizing a space in the form of a virtual tour. The pricing is good and you should only need their most basic package to get full usage out of it for basic virtual tour creation. And here's what the virtual tour editor looks like. It does come across as a bit intimidating and it's the kind of software that you need to spend a few days to fully get your head around it and understand everything it can do. Connecting your photos up isn't super easy. It's the kind of software where you need to shoot your photos in quick succession of each other for it to be able to link them up automatically. So with this tour, I have 11 photos total throughout the entire apartment and it's just not enough for Cupid. 
because it wasn't able to see where they link up and now I have to do them all manually. Here's a sample tool made with Cupix and while you can get a basic level of customization, so they've got their logo up there and at the Nadar and they've added these icons around the restaurant. As you can see on the left, you can add a floor plan with interactive hotspots and they've also added a high resolution photo and a video here. I mean, this is a decent level of customization but I still feel like I'm walking around an architect's floor plan. The graphic design isn't great, the hotspots are very generic and to be honest, I don't know if I would use it in this context. If you're shooting a restaurant, you want some better custom branding, which is okay because I don't think that's what Cupix is really made for. Cupix seem to be targeting construction and real estate. I've seen heaps of samples where someone will walk around with a 360 camera attached to a helmet. They'll walk around a construction site taking photos every few feet. And what I'm doing here is a really cool feature. It's a side-by-side -side comparison. So I think Cupix is great for documentation purposes because you can do cool stuff like this. This is showing two different stages of the build and this is a really powerful tool for anyone in construction or architecture that needs to document a location, add notes, do measurements, any kind of technical stuff you can do with Cupix. They really do have a lot of features that help with this. For example, I can measure point A to B. You can simulate new additions to the space. So if you wanted to put a painting on the wall or if you wanted to put in the dimensions of say a piece of furniture you were thinking of adding to the space, you can basically include all the measurements and put a simulated piece of furniture in your space. That looks good by the way. I really like Cupix a lot. It's highly packed with features. However, it's also kind of complicated and not going to be the most user-friendly software if you want to turn around virtual tours quickly and easily. So if you're shooting for documentation, construction or architecture, Cupix is the number one choice by far. For custom virtual tours like mine though, I just think it's overkill and is more complicated than what I need and overall won't deliver as good of a result as the previous software Cooler would give you for everyday business type situations. I've got a bunch of Cupix tutorials on my YouTube channel already, so I definitely suggest checking them out. And overall, I'm giving Cupix a 7.3 out of 10. It's good, but it is a niche software and you can't use it for all types of virtual tours. Next is Panoskin, and Panoskin is a great software at a great price. So Panoskin seems to focus around Google Street View. Right now, when you build a tour, you have to start it as a street view tour and then you're able to customize it with your own branding and hotspots and whatnot later on. This is something that will be changing pretty soon. To get started making a pano skin virtual tour, first you need to add a client to your database and I just put a dummy client in because I'm not ready to add that yet but it does require you to do this before you get started. That's not ideal but it's not a deal breaker. Firstly you start by pinpointing your location, then you upload your photos. By the way it gives you the ability to blur your photos if you have faces or anything else you want to blur. Next you build the tour and this is done by dragging and dropping one photo over another to add a hotspot and basically you're linking up the photos first then you'll add custom branding later. One thing that initially scared me about Panoskin is when I did this I saw my straight lines turn into wavy lines in my photo and I thought WTF and then I asked about it and then it turns out this is just for preview purposes so it's essentially creating a super low resolution version here which makes it much faster and easier to edit then everything will look normal and high quality in the final tour. I'd say the overall interface isn't super super easy to navigate. For me, it's not obvious what the next step might be. Like, do I have to publish to Google? Do I click one of these? There's no instructions about what is what and what I need to do. So it does take a bit of time to learn Pano Skin. Once it's all connected, that's when you customize it. So you can choose custom colors, add a logo, and here's what the custom builder looks like. Now that we got here, it's now feeling a lot easier to use. And it has a bunch of really cool features like adding an interactive floor plan to the top left-hand corner of the image. And you can customize your tour quite a bit, even more than all of the virtual tour platforms that we've covered so far. So as you can see here, I've added an opening graphic, so this will show up, then the viewer will click Start 360 Tour, and we're into it. Down the bottom, I've added a carousel. On the right, we've got some options for our viewer to pick. They can look at a map of the location. They can book to stay at this apartment. We can add a full screen info card like this. And then finally, there's a contact option. I would say probably my favorite feature of Pano Skin is the floor plan up the top left. That looks so cool. And as you navigate around, it moves in sync. By the way, I had the actual design of the floor plan done by a designer. This is not a feature of Pano Skin. However, you can add the custom radar and you can set it to follow you in the right direction. It's features like this that give you a reason to charge more for your tours because you're adding that extra professional element to the tour. You're also able to add in a flat image gallery to the tour. So if you want to include photos that might already be on your company or business's website, 
you can do that within the virtual tour player. This is what happens when you click a hotspot. It's a proper menu that shows up on the left and same with the info spot. Here's another pano skin example I found and this one is really good. And to me, this looks like a highly professional virtual tour. It's the next level up yet again from cooler and it has features that go beyond just beginner. It also integrates really nicely within the host's website. So if you see this bar up the top, this is their actual website. Now down here is pano skin and then down the bottom we've got the website again. I bet you thought this was all one display. Well, it's not. So no question pano skin has great website integration. I rate pano skin highly and I think you could do some highly professional tours with this for big businesses and get paid good money when using it. It's not super easy to learn, but once you do, you'll be able to make tours relatively quickly. Another reason the price is so good is that includes 20 Google Street View publishers per month. This is probably the best you will find it on any of these platforms. Oh, and by the way, all platforms in the intermediate to advanced categories also have a Google Street View upload feature. Next is Go Through, and I see Go Through as being similar to Pano Skin in the fact that it bases its tours around Google Street View upload. As you can see, that's how they're branding themselves here. And if you're a photographer who intends on uploading to Street View a lot, you should definitely consider Pano Skin or Go Through. Here's what it looks like inside the dashboard. And when you start a project, this is what it it's going to look like. You've got your various options here and when you click one it opens a new window and you do one specific thing about that tour. So this is the moderate window where we connect up all of our photos. Basically you move them from the right hand side into the middle, you line them up and then they go to the left hand side which means they've been connected. Once that's done you close that window and go back to the previous screen where we can now do other things like edit the tour in more detail. Go through has features to straighten and center images and some other nice features like easily being able to add more multiple levels. You can add multiple levels with the previous two softwares as well, by the way. Now that we're in intermediate territory, I'm noticing a trend of how easy it is to pick up the software without having to look it up. With go through again, just like the previous two, I'm finding myself a bit confused about what to do next. It's not super easy and intuitive like the beginner softwares we saw earlier. Once you learn it though, you can actually do some really cool things within go through and get a high level of customization. It's pretty easy to add a menu up the top. You can add custom custom branding, custom colors, custom hotspots. Here's a sample tour I found using GoThrough and this looks really professional. The hotspots look nice. The menu on the left looks really good. And down the bottom, you can see there's a Google Street View box. You can also add a logo to any corner and add yourself a menu wherever you like. I'm not the biggest fan of the Google arrows, which seem to show up by default in GoThrough. You can replace them though, they just haven't here. The menu design does look good and it allows you to navigate around your entire virtual tour pretty quickly. I have noticed though from seeing a few samples that they're all laid out in a similar way where it's a box up the top you've got multiple options here you can change a bit of the graphic design and the fonts and the colors but it's basically the same box that does the same thing go through has heaps of other great features I simply don't have time to cover them all but I would say it's one of the more Google Street View friendly softwares would I say it's better than pano skin I don't know about that I see pano skin as being a better price and having slightly more features especially in terms of customizing the graphic design and the overall look. It's this design compared to this design. And I just prefer the graphic design elements within Pano Skin. Once you really get to know Go Through, I'm sure you can customize the design a lot better. But for now, I'm going to give Go Through an eight. It's a great software and I know it will get better. The final intermediate virtual tour software is My360. And something funny I've found about all of these softwares so far is when you go to their website, the way their website is designed is usually going to be an indication of what the experience is going to be like and what your end virtual tour is going to look like. And I can safely say that's the case with my 360. When you log in, this is what you see. I have no idea what to do right now. Do I scroll down? Do I read articles? Do I click one of these things? Dashboard? No, I'm already in the dashboard. What about this one? MM management? my account, it's really not clear. So you can click create first tour, but first you need to add yourself as a photographer, which is done in this menu here. So again, this is a software where you have to fill in all kinds of forms before you're able to get started editing your tour. Okay, let's try again. So this is how the editor starts. What they call 360 photos are spheres, and you click this really small button on the right-hand side to add your photos. I mean, to their credit, they do have a V 
video tutorial that teaches you the ins and outs of my 360. But at the same time, I just wish they had more intuitive elements where you could pick it up, start editing straight away. And this is what the editor looks like. Remember when I said the graphic design of the website is an indication of what the editor is gonna look like? This top menu looks like it was made in 1989, the year I was born. And this is the process of adding a hotspot. Drag this little blue circle into your image. Now I'm going to click the arrow and this will link it up with the photo outside. Now it's getting better. I gotta give it credit for that. I'm gonna press save. And now when I go to that photo and turn around, the hotspot's there albeit on the ground. Taking a look at some of the sample tours on their site, I'm seeing better results than what I just got. As you can see, there's a carousel and there are basic buttons for navigation. There's a contact form, that's nice. Info, that's good. I like this flashing icon here too. So just like with the others, you can add basic hotspots with images and text. There they've added a video of a fireplace, that's cool. I'd say the graphic design elements though are just too basic. I'm not the biggest fan of these transitions, that loading text, and it just feels a bit too simplistic. You can add a custom logo and text in the top corners, and you can also add your own custom nader that stays put when you move the photo around. You can enable or disable the graphics pretty easily, that's good, but to be honest, I just see no unique selling points with my 360 all of the other editors offer these features and more and at a better price the previous three softwares in the intermediate category are literally half the price of my 360 and they do more overall so while you can get a decent result with my 360 and get your tour published onto google maps it's just not as good as the others and i can't justify paying that price over the others for more or less the same features so overall in the intermediate category pano skin is the winner congratulations you can do a lot with it and it also happens to be the cheapest of all four options. With that said, I think all four of them are good softwares and you can use all of them professionally and start earning money with your tours. And I'm not just talking small businesses, but medium size and even large size businesses. You could probably get away with editing in any of these for those customers. Okay, now I want to give you a really quick look at three advanced softwares. Now I'm only going to scratch the surface because there have been entire Udemy courses made about these softwares but I want to try and give you a quick overview of what they are and what they do. The first one is Pano2 VR, and I'd say this is one of the most widely used softwares among professionals. It was the most popular software when I did that poll on Facebook, and so many of my friends who are high-end virtual tour shooters use Pano2 VR. The biggest difference between the beginner and intermediate softwares and the advanced softwares is all three of these advanced softwares are downloadable programs. So you don't access them online, you need to download them enter your license key and open it within your computer. The others are software as a service, which means you can access them online any way you want. Both have pros and cons, but there's nothing wrong with a good old fashioned desktop software. The first thing I'm gonna say about Pano2 VR is the price is extremely good. You can buy a license starting at 149 euros, and this is the equivalent of say 10 months of subscription fees from most of the other softwares. So with Pano2 VR, you buy it once and you own it forever. There are two different licenses with two different different prices, but even the most expensive price is still very affordable given you're buying it outright and you don't have to pay an ongoing fee. Especially when you see what this software can do and the kinds of clients you can work with using it, I think you'll find it very cheap considering how much money you could make with it. Here's what the software interface looks like. I've imported my 360 photo into the main window here and you've got settings on either side. Pano2 VR allows you a high level of customization. There isn't much you can't do with virtual tours using it. Even though the interface looks relatively simple, it still does take a bit of learning to properly understand the workflow of the software. Now I want to show you some samples that were made in Pano2 VR. So this tour looks great. It's got custom branding up the top. I love this little icon. The menu looks really good. We have a logo in the top right. There's a menu on the side that pops out and you can click through to the next photo. We've also got options to click in every single corner of this viewer. I think that's really cool and it's what separates lower end tours with higher end ones. When I hover over the hotspot, what? Look at that, that looks highly professional. Then when I click through to look around inside this ship, we've got the same kind of hotspots. The images look really good inside of Pano2 VR. Firstly, this was shot with a DSLR, which is why it's such high quality, but also the player is really nice and smooth. Here's another example with this one, they've got a welcome screen. You click the button, and it takes you into the tour. There's more custom hotspots here that move when you hover over them. We have a flashing hotspot here. When you click it, it tells you what it is. This menu on the side looks great and the graphic design 
design is really different to the one we saw in the last example. So with Pano 2 VR, you can really customize the overall skin and layout a lot. Honestly, I can't think of too many things I don't like about this tour. Here's one more and they've started with a video this time. You press play and then you get into the tour. And yet again, we've got another kind of graphic design style with custom branding using custom colors of the business. I love this tour and to think this was made for a few hundred dollars is pretty incredible because you could charge well over $2,000 for a tour like this and they've made it in Pano 2 VR to get a really high-end result. When I go back to the software, it's not super clear how I would get all of these results, but I really need to spend more time on their YouTube channel. They've got hundreds of tutorials that teach you everything. So Pano 2 VR is the kind of software that takes time to learn, but once you can, you can get stunning looking virtual tours for high-end clients. I have very few complaints about Pano 2 VR. The tours look stunning and the price is really, really good. Congratulations Pano 2 VR, you have the highest score so far by quite a bit. The next advanced software is KR Pano and this is what their website looks like. If you're like me and contemplating hitting the refresh button because the site didn't load properly, then your attempts to refresh will be futile because this is what the website looks like. Yet KR Pano is one of the most high end and most trusted softwares used by virtual tour professionals. And this is what the software looks like. It's like a software version of their website. In all seriousness, I haven't been able to build my tour within KR Pano. This is because it's a software that allows you to customize your tours 100% including doing all the coding and not only is that optional but it's essential you got to be able to code to use KR Pano and if you can you can get among the best results possible from a virtual tour here's a sample one of my friends made of my beautiful home city and this tour is simply stunning and one of the best virtual tours I've ever seen yes part of it is because he got this awesome drone shot but also the hotspots look good the menu looks good the branding looks good I really like this custom intro he made it looks super professional when I walk through the tour this is what it's like that menu looks like a proper website. The animations are really good. The overall experience is just really good. And this stunning virtual tour was made in this thing. <laughs> I know it's hard to imagine it, but it was. So while I can't show you the interface too much because I simply don't understand it, and also there aren't too many tutorials out there teaching it. On their website, they have a little bit of information about KR Pano, you could say. So if you have a year to read this, then you'll be able to get results just as good. Or if you understand coding from the start, then you're probably going to pick it up a bit faster. And when you dig into their website, you can actually find some really good samples of tours made in KR Pano. Check out this one, Little Temple of Abu Simbel. So I can walk around this tour using the WASD keys. Look at that. That's incredible. This is like the 3D feature from Matterport. And that's not the only Matterport feature it has. Look at this. We've got a dollhouse. Here's another cool example of their depth map technology. So this is a 360 photo and I'm moving around it and the depth is changing. This technology could be groundbreaking, I think, in the future if developed a bit more. I have no idea how to get that from this, but still. Cool. And there are a bunch of other fantastic examples on their website. I do have a small issue with their pricing. While it starts good at 159 euros, to simply remove a KR Pano logo, you have to pay another 299. And then there are optional add-ons here that add up to around 1,000 euros. You don't need these, so I'd say the price would be closer to around 450 euros, which is still a good price for an advanced software. So basically, if you can get over the intimidating complexity of KR Pano, you can create yourself some seriously stunning high-end tours that have 100% customization. Is it for me? Uh-uh. I don't understand code and I like having a super fast workflow. And this is quite literally the opposite of that because you're building your tours from scratch. So while I've not properly used KR Pano personally, a lot of the best virtual tour photographers in the industry do use it and they get amazing results with it. So while I've got to give it a two for ease of use, the end result is amazing. And if you understand coding, I've got no doubt you'd be able to create a masterpiece with KR Pano. The final software on this list is 3D Vista and brace yourself, awesome stuff is coming. 3D Vista is an advanced software that you may not have heard of, but it has among the best features of any virtual tour platform. It's compatible with most cameras and most types of media. It's highly VR friendly. They have their own app for displaying virtual tours on the go. You don't need to navigate to a URL within Google Chrome or Safari. You can simply open up the 3D Vista mobile app and it displays your virtual tour 
it as nicely as possible. They offer the option to download the tool and upload to your own server, but they also have a hosting service, which is 99 euros a year. And this gives you basically unlimited tours. If you compare that to Matterport, this is just so much better and cheaper. Now the main software is not cheap, but it is 1000% worth it. And here's why. Firstly, it's a desktop app like the previous two. And this one is laid out really nicely. It's easy to understand what to do. The menus are clear. I'm not feeling overwhelmed looking at this software. It kind of reminds me of Adobe Photoshop or Premiere. And for someone that likes keeping things simple, I've got to say, I'm not feeling too intimidated by 3D Vista. So you edit photos one by one in the middle. You have your settings on the right and you have your different categories up the top. 3D Vista has a layout that I would say is even easier than even the intermediate softwares. What stands out to me about 3D Vista Virtual Tools is not only do you have the ability to fully custom brand the tour, but it also has some extremely stylish inbuilt graphic design elements, AKA skins. Take a look at this. This is what the design looks like in the master bedroom. Then when I move, the same graphic design style changes slightly differently to whatever room I happen to be in. It honestly makes it feel like I'm looking around a magazine. It's that stylish. Here's another real estate example with these hotspots. As I hover over, the graphic design is really good. It's not a flashy effect. It's not animated, although you could do that. But what stands out about it is the design is really good. With the amount of content put out in today's day and age, graphic design is extremely important with all kinds of media that you're posting online. And I really haven't seen graphic design this good from any of these platforms yet. I mean, look, you could technically get these same results if you did the design separately in Illustrator or Photoshop. But why 3D Vista is great is it has these designs built into their skin editor. So here I'm simulating what the skin will look like. And I did this in 60 seconds. I just chose a skin and added my details there. And immediately it's already got that amazing magazine style feel. I haven't been able to drag and drop this level of design yet with any of the other platforms. And yes, you can fully customize it to your liking. It's really easy to choose custom elements. They have this massive library of skins of all types. We've got text in one corner. We've got navigation playback. We've got a side menu. This is really cool because it means you don't have to spend that much time doing custom designs. And you get something that looks highly professional like this really quickly. It's also really easy to create custom hotspots like this. If you want to focus on one area within your 360, you basically just outline it with the outline tool and you can do this. Here's another fantastic example. Check this one out. So this is a virtual tour. I know it looks like a game, but this is actually a custom tour. I love the graphic design here. And basically what you do is you navigate to the next spot and this simulates where the golf shot would have taken you. This really looks so stylish and it looks legitimately like a game or an app that was made just for this purpose. Whereas really they made this in 3D Vista probably pretty quickly. Look at this, now I can watch a coach's tip and this is just so cool. This is one of the funnest virtual tours I've seen. So for me, 3D Vista is the perfect combination of professionalism and ease of use. Well, relative ease of use for an advanced software. Yes, it's expensive, but again, you could easily charge over $2,000 for one single tour made in 3D Vista. And this is another one-off fee. Once you've bought it, you own it forever. I plan on learning 3D Vista a lot better and I'll make an in-depth tutorial about it in the future. So in terms of scoring it, it gets almost straight tens except for the price, which is a little bit intimidating at first. And the ease of use is easy, but not that easy. For me, 3D Vista has the edge over Pano 2 VR simply because of the ease of use and the amazing inbuilt skins and custom design elements that can be added with relative ease. All right, well, the numbers are in, the scores have been tallied. It's been a fierce, epic battle, but we have three clear winners based on the six most important features I identified at the beginning of this video. In first place is 3D Vista, congratulations. Second, Pano 2 VR. Third, Pano Skin. These are the best overall virtual tour softwares in terms of price, features, ease of use, photo playback, interface and graphics, and the end result you get. For most people, these are going to be the key features to look for. However, if you're someone that doesn't mind the price or the ease of use, and you just want something that looks the best a virtual tour can possibly look, in first place will be KR Pano due to its 100% customization ability. You can get basically any kind of tour and graphic design you like. It's just gonna take time. Second is 3D Vista. Third is Pano 2 VR. These are no doubt the three best softwares for getting professional looking virtual tours that you can sell to high-end clients. But are they my softwares of choice? No, they're not. 
For me, I just want something that is easy to use that can produce a professional-ish result and that I can turn over a virtual tour with within 10 minutes. Which is why for me, Cooler stands out head and shoulders above the rest. It's the perfect mix of professional features, a super easy to use interface, and the price is one of the best of all of the paid platforms. Coming in second is 3D Vista for when I wanna create something much more advanced for high-end clients or whenever you wanna make a really impressive looking virtual tour, you can do it within 3D Vista and it's easy enough to use that you can do that without having to do coding or take a thousand steps to do it. Third is gonna be a tie between Pano Skin and Theasis because for me, these were the best in each category. However, they're also in that awkward middle ground of being in the middle. They're not the low-end software, they're not the high-end software. So I'd probably use these when my projects need to be somewhere in the middle of the range. I won't use them as much as Cooler and 3D Vista, but I will still use them. Now I'm curious, which is your software of choice and why? Let me know in the comments. And that's it. I hope this video helped you come to a decision about which virtual tour platform is best for you. By the way, a lot of these platforms offer some kind of free trial, so follow the links in the description if you want to test them out yourself before you buy. And on a side note, most of these platforms have a ton of in-depth tutorials if you search YouTube as well and you want to know more. A few of them even have their own dedicated YouTube channels showing off every single feature of the software. I'll also add that as you become more experienced with virtual tours, you should aim to move up to more intermediate and advanced platforms so you can do more with your tours and as as a result, charge more for them. And if you don't know what to charge or even how to get regular paid clients for your tours, then I've got good news for you. Over the past year, I've been working super hard on creating an in-depth video training course called Virtual Tour Pro that covers everything you need to know about virtual tours. I've condensed my five-year journey into short, actionable videos that will help you do what you love for a living, aka shooting virtual tours and earning money from it. This isn't just another virtual tour course where we we cover shooting and editing and that's it. But also I'll go behind the scenes and show you how to build a healthy and profitable business out of it so you can spend even more time doing what you love. The course takes out all of the guesswork so you don't have to make all of the mistakes in the book like I did. Just finding the right software can cost hundreds of dollars and hundreds of hours of your time. And if you can save all of that with just one video, imagine how much you'll save getting all of the best shortcuts for every other step in the process. So underneath this video, you'll find a link to Virtual Tour Pro where you can pick up your copy of the entire course. Also, I'll be offering exclusive discounts to almost all of the platforms you've seen in this video for Virtual Tour Pro members only. On that note, happy 316, more Virtual Tour content coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one.